Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 71 of Les Platinum, God of War. Alright, back on the boat we go. Atreus. I can help? Together now. We did it! We're free! Oh, camera. What happened there? We are going to get out of here. Face me, father. It is time to end this. Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. Hmm. First time he's lied to his son, I think. Directly, I guess. <laughs> Skies of Helheim. Hold on! This is a really cool moment where he says port side and it alludes back to when they were on the boat having the conversation. He taught him which side is port, which side is starboard, and it kind of works out here. I hadn't actually noticed that until I got to this part for the second time during practice. Okay, so what happens here on the boat is we are going to fight, frankly, way way too many enemies. Way, way, way too many enemies. This goes on for quite some time. I'll be surprised if like, well, I'm gonna say 10 to 15 minutes is gonna go on for. So yeah, quite a while. You can use all your stuff, you know, don't be afraid to use your runic attacks. By the end of this I should have maxed out like my rage <laughs> again. Should be very useful actually. Nice. Just keep an eye on the fires, try and make sure that they're always lit. Let me try and grab this guy. Sometimes, I don't know if it's dependent on the uh... Oh he's... Uh, come on. There we go. Okay, we got our first uh, anchor. I will free us. Okay, I think you have to. Yeah, I think you have to kill all the enemies first. So I'm gonna go over here. Oh, they're all gone. Okay. All of you. Goodbye. You can see Atreus' attitude is back to normal now. He's telling us, like he's giving us hints and saying, "Hey, that that Viking's stunned. Get him, or whatever." Okay. If there's a uh, pommel that allows you to gain more rage per hit, like with, like essentially it does aura of fire but for rage rather than summon without meaning to, that's fine. Two, three. Look at this infinitis infinitesimal. I think is the word. Holy, what happened? Oh, right, right. I was gonna say, like, did I actually clear everything? Yeah, you have to remove the anchors and then you can continue. It's insane. Okay, um... Actually, infinitesimal, I think, is a small amount. <laughs> like a tiny... Red, how amount. long before we reach the temple? Yeah, it's freezing. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad. Holy crap, look at that thing. Oh, hello. Wait. <sighs> Let me grab him. Thank you. Off you go. If you can get through this without any of the fires going out, you're doing pretty damn well. Because I couldn't do it on practice. Uh... Come on! Ah, damn it. I almost made it. Okay, fire's back. It's interesting when they do douse the flames, it, the boat does feel like it changes. <laughs> like it actually does drop on one side. It's really cool. So yeah, try and be aware. Ooh, magma shield, hooray. 
Yeah, see, it's it's pretty cool. Like, I really enjoy the Magnum Shield. I cannot hit this guy to save my life. I don't think it does damage to enemies, but it does protect you from being interrupted. Actually, you know what? Sorry to interrupt the thing, but let me have a look. Uh, oh, it does. It inflicts burn damage to enemies, so that's good. You do have to get hit for attack to make, but yeah. Just imagining if I had the other pieces of the set. <laughs> even one or two more. Well, well, yeah, even one more would probably increase the... Uh, that is not what I meant to do. It'll work. Probably increase the likelihood by a huge amount. You also get a massive amount of pack silver on this in this area, by the way. Um, I don't think you have to pick it up like before. Look at that, 8,000, 12, there's 17,000 just in that. I don't think you have to pick it up, um, you know, while you're fighting. You can, I think you can leave it to the end. But to be sure, you may as well try and pick it up when you can. We're gonna hit that bridge. All right, we're about to hit a bridge. Boom. Yeah, you can't really move in this. Give you a weird animation stance. Makes sense, you wouldn't be able to move. It's like experiencing weightlessness almost, I guess. Hello. Try and hit them from behind as well if you can. More stun. And I know that the blades give a lot of rage, but this is taking forever to, to build up. Summon again, switch to some shock arrows. Shock arrows is good as well for this. A lot of enemies. They can get stunned. Get out of here. Nice. Hyperion Slam. Yeah, you can see it's much faster than um, Tartarus Rage, so really good for this area. Bam! What? Oh. I like camera again. Okay, another one that we have to release. Yeah, this one you can release straight away for some reason. <laughs> Looks like I got the necessary uh, rage. Okay, we got a revenant. Damn. Oh, we got two revenants. Take. Uh, may as well hit that one if I can. Wow, stunning them or shocking them is a good idea. Let's get these fires lit again. Nice. Block. One, two, three, four. Come here. Throw. Yes, it worked. <laughs> I didn't know if that one. Like, I knew I could. It was gonna work, but I didn't know if I could actually grab it in time. I'll die already. What tip did I get? Uh, her icy fissure attacks damage and freeze farther. We'll have to avoid them if we want to. If we want to be able to take her down. Ow. In the sequel, they have to change how. Is that it? No. How our rage works. Maybe they'll add um, rage drops as well. Not just from like special enemies, but from regular enemies. Grab this. Alright, we've been going 8 minutes for this. <laughs> We're about 75% of the way. Amir, how's the fire staying lit? Would you believe magic? Or those blades. Look at this gigantic bird creature. It's crazy. Okay, we're gonna have some more enemies soon. Our wolves are almost back. Treyas, are you shivering or vibrating? <laughs> You're like, nah. That took forever to get the next enemy. Oh, I counted him. Hmm. Spin, spin. Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take that. No, I want the hex over. Thank you. Four and a half thousand. <laughs> Can't wait to check my hex silver reserves after I finish this. I would also like full rage if possible, but 
It's probably not going to be possible. <laughs> Wait, move, move. I know, I know. I'm stopping him now. I've done pretty well to keep these fires lit. Like I said before, I think during practice, uh, I think they they uh, turn them off three times. <laughs> Two or three times. Oh god, okay. That hurt. Oh, for goodness sake. Thank you. Get him! Leave me alone. Nice catch. I know! I gotta get over there! Hyperion Slam! <laughs> spin, spin. Okay, we're almost there. If we get an ogre battle, we're at the end. There he is. Ow, that hurt. Try and axe this guy. Here's a question. Let me axe you. Pow. Give him to me. <laughs> Alright, and now we kill everything. Hulk smash. Okay, they're almost dead. Once you kill the big ogre, I think you just have to kill the remaining enemies and that's it. I am getting fairly low on health. Okay, so you just keep attacking enemies, they will eventually spear. Let's have a look for a tip. Uh, Hellbrood. The brood are extremely weak to Father's Arena attacks. Okay, this is just another small tip. Okay, another one. Hell Revenant. We can either interrupt, outrun, or dodge her ice breath, uh, ice breath attack. You can freeze Father and leave him idle and vulnerable to attacks. Okay, I think that's it. Let's have a look. <laughs> so, let's look at all this hack silver that we get. Huh. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Now we got some good drops as well. Symbol of concentration, three hardened steel. Okay, I should probably also check the uh, um, the blacksmith to see if there were any lost items. And here, here, we have a good look. Look at the hack silver. Ooh, five hundred thirty-six thousand. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. Hold and hold and hold. It is time, my son. Look around at what you have done. <laughs> we are leaving this realm. Brilliant. Now. As long as we didn't ride our way back. Uh, nice callback to um to Mimir's line from uh, after 
or during like Thamor's corpse and just before Magni and Modi. <laughs> that was your plan. You're both cracked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are in a special section of Tears Vault. Um, let's uh, access this little lore thing here. I think this is where Odin brought all his yeah. best clues about Jotunheim. Hey, okay, let's have a look. The missing tower. The search for any trace of the Jotunheim tower remains fruitless. Not only Midgard, but in all realms in which the tower once stood, there is now only a mystic echo of what was. Had it been destroyed, had it been destroyed by might, some remnant would remain. But this mas magical uh, vestige suggests magical means. It must exist somewhere. Our horde of loyal spies continues to grow. I cannot doubt someday we will find it, wherever it may be hidden. The Raven Keeper. Hmm, loyal spies. I wonder if he means the, the ravens. Um, yeah. Okay, and we finally saw um, Kraus's past there in a moment. Uh, I'll just explain. Eye of the Outer Realm, Epic Enchantment. Bonus to all stats. Now this one is pretty much like outright better than anything that we have. Or better than at least something that we have. But which one? <laughs> uh, taking damage from a during a runic attack reduces damage. Maybe this one. I think like taking damage during a runic attack is, you know, it's like... How can I put it? Uh, like if you can, you shouldn't be taking damage anyway. It's like you don't plan on taking damage, so I guess let's not use that. Keep doing that by accident. Um, everything else is pretty good. Okay, so yeah, we're still on level six, but our power level is like we're quite a, w uh, a ways through level six. Um, okay, let's keep going. Yeah, we saw um, Kratos' past there, and that will be discussed momentarily as well. Try and mention something about it real quick. Uh, how do I... Oh, it's, it's like right there. I was like, where is it? <laughs> uh, here. Okay, thank you for giving me only two, because I was having a lot of trouble finding both. Oh, well, one at least. What is this place? This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. Looks pretty nice to me. <laughs> Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him, and those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho, I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we are the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope. Other things too. Tia's own design. He made this door himself. Okay. Uh, just before we continue, um, I want to point out 
So he said it means war. Um, this symbol I know all too well. Obviously, that's the symbol from the previous games. This one here, and even this one, really look to me like um, symbols from uh, the Oracle of Ages, I think it is. Or it's either Oracle of Ages or Oracle of Seasons, the Game Boy like Zelda games that came out many, many years ago. Um, some of my favorite Zelda games of all time. Play those like crazy. I played them so many times. They're so good. Um, yeah, they, they kind of remind me a lot of it. Um, so this one, I guess, is Greek. This one is obviously Egyptian. Looks like the Eye of Horus, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and so I guess one of these would be Norse, with the remaining one being, I don't know, Roman, maybe? I don't know how many other mythologies there are, but that's all I can think of. So I don't know. Is this like supposed to symbolize because the path that we had to Jotunheim is now gone, this is like the next, or this is like a, a different way to get to Jotunheim and saying like Tyr discovered this thing, which allowed him to do all this here and then get to Jotunheim, which I think is that symbol. So I don't know. I hope I'm reading that right, but it is a little tricky to understand. Um, I think we're going to have that talk about the uh, about what we saw in... Uh, in Helheim, but I guess I'm going to leave that to next time. Um, just thinking, what episode are we on? 71, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. So we'll leave that until next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 71 of Let's Platinum God of War. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.